Hi foodies, so let's make that lovely Sunday favorite wheat paratha roti here for my grandson. So here I have two cups of uh, wheat flour. I'm gonna add my salt and we're gonna add some sugar. There you go, and that's it. Give that a good mix. Here I have hot water. And I'm gonna add a little at a time. For my new foodies who are joining in, little at a time does it, and you're going to bring this dough together. Oh, there's no baking powder. I want to let you know you don't need baking powder to make your roti. Why put all that aluminum in your body, right? Long ago we didn't know, but now we know. You know, our poor granny, they just go ahead. Lion's baking powder and hibiscus flour. So this came together really nicely. Once it comes together, now you're going to add in about a teaspoon and a half to two teaspoon of oil and we're going to just knead that into it. That dish. came in really lovely, soft and nice. So now we want to add some oil again and let it rest. Okay, so here is our wheat flour. Let's take this oil out now. And we're going to get two. There you go, one and two. This is a good size. Yeah, so this piece could come off. And there you go, beautiful. That's one. So this, you're going to go with the big one first. Let's open this one out with your rolling pin. I'm going to roll it. There you go, put in a flour. And I want it long. Really simple and easy. You're going to love this. Let's do it long. Perfect. We want to go into three. So just bring it across in one, two, three pockets. There you go. One, two, three. So each pocket, I'm going to add my ghee. So you have your ghee. I'm going to put that ghee in. I'm going to add the herbs on this side and on this side. You could use cilantro, you could use anything you like. And some cumin seed. This is that roasted cumin. This is just regular cumin or jira. This is going to give it a beautiful flavor. That looks good. Now you're going to sprinkle your flour in. There you go. Marvelous. And now we're going to bring them in. So first one goes there. I'm going to put a little more butter in here. Okay. And this one comes in here. And that is all to this. That's it. And then we're going to roll this out. So now let's roll it out so I can move over and we could get that heat on the tower, as we would see. So let me roll this. Look at that beautiful roll. Simple and easy to do it. There you go. So there you go, foodies. This is my roti. So now I'm going get that heat on, and we're going to get this all cooking on our this one on the tower now. Just give it a little open. The ends, pull the ends out. We want that ends to be thin. Oops, I think I pop it over here. I hope this don't stop it from raising up now. Medium heat. You don't want too much high heat. And open up your ends. There you go. You see that translucent look there already that we're getting? You know it's cooking. Just move them around a little bit with your hands, just like so. It's very movable now, you now see Now we're going to take our dabbler. There you go, just like so. And we're going to give it a nice little flip. Perfect. You have your oil, your butter, ghee, whatever you have. We're going to put some all around. Remember, you could use any filling, as I mentioned. There you go, just not too much in the middle. And you see it's already start getting angry with me. It's raising up. See it's puffing up there already. So I want to focus on the ends because I want the ends of my roti to cook. There you go. Now let's give it a flip on the other side. There you go. And now what we're gonna do on this side also, it's already raising, it's puffing up already. You see that puff? Look at that. Let me hold it here. I think there's a little hole on, on this side. So we're going to put a little oil now on this side. 
of that roti. No wonder my grandson loved this. And I'm really shocked. He's just like 10 years old and he really do like the wheat. That's the puff, right? That's the whole there. Let me hold that down. A lot of anger with my roti. You see all of that puff there? Yes, let me let it go now. So once you don't pop your roti, you're good. There you go. Perfect. Nice little puff. And your roti is all done. Lovely wheat paracha roti here with filling for my grandson. Give it a try. Simple and easy. Do it. That looks marvelous. Let me show you the other side one more time. With your little holes. I'm holding that hole down again for you to see the anger in my roti. And this is all done. This is oil, so don't think it didn't cook. That's oil in there, the whole roti. I'm gonna open up this roti for you. There you go, perfect every time. Jenny's Walk bringing you a simple way, a different way in rolling your roti. To put your filling in there, it's a paracha roti. You could put anything you wish in there. And now you know, so if you'd like to beat up that roti a little bit, you could go ahead and do the same thing. And give it a try, leave me a comment. So there you go, foodies, that lovely paratha roti here. I want to show to you that nice layer that you got. Look at that, really beautiful. You see the layers here? Two layers, three layers, how much you got there? Look at that softness. And if you want to beat it up, you go ahead and you beat it up and you have that lovely filling in there. Look at that, let me try this. This is so soft, mmm, mmm, wow really really soft and nice look at that enjoy with any of your curry your chicken vegetable dish whatever you want to lovely dish here from jenny's walk paratha roti wheat paratha roti no baking powder a nice little filling oh my gosh this tastes so great yeah, i love it. foodies that sunday special wheat paratha roti for my grandson pierre as well with his favorite dish curry chana and some curry mango. Of course, that pepper's day is for me. Give it a try, simple and easy do it. Wheat paratha roti from Jenny's Walk. From my kitchen to your kitchen. Happy cooking.